Hey guys, I'm Julia. Welcome back to Celeb Bites. This is a show where we test out our favorite celebrity recipes. Today we're trying out Lionel Messi's favorite dish. This is his most favorite dish. It's called the Melanesa Napolitana. Hopefully I pronounced that right, but we're gonna make it and let's get started. So in a book about Messi's life by Luca Caoli, his mother stated that this dish is actually Messi's favorite dish. So we're gonna make it exactly how his mom makes it. So it's basically just a thin slice of chicken covered in breadcrumbs fried with mozzarella cheese, tomato sauce, and ham. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna crack our three eggs into this bowl. This is basically like, we're gonna dip the chicken into this egg mixture. So it's just three eggs that we're gonna crack into the dish. I'm the worst at cracking eggs. I need a chef to teach me the right way to crack an egg because this is never working for me. So we're gonna start whisking the eggs up. We're gonna get this all mixed together like we're kind of making scrambled eggs. So after we whisked it all up, we're gonna add in our fresh parsley and the salt and pepper. We're gonna whisk it all up again. So this dish, you're supposed to use steak instead of chicken, but Messi loves using chicken instead of the steak. So we obviously have to try with the chicken. I don't know if you guys knew this, but Messi was actually born with a growth hormone deficiency and basically at the age of 11, he stopped growing normally. The treatment was too expensive for his parents to pay, but once he signed at the FC Barcelona youth team, they started to pay for his treatment in 2000. And then in 2007, he started the Leo Messi Foundation, which helps kids who can't afford medical treatments. He helps pay for that. So I just think that's so amazing because he's giving you know kids who have these like hormone deficiencies and any, any other medical treatments some support and help. So I think that's super awesome. The next step for this recipe is we're gonna add our Parmesan cheese and our minced garlic to the breadcrumbs. So we're just gonna pour that on top and just get it all evenly spread. And then we're gonna also do that with our minced garlic. And then we're just gonna try to mix it all together so it's just evenly spread out when we dip the chicken in here. Did you know Messi's first ever contract was actually written on a napkin? So the FC Barcelona youth team wanted to sign him so bad that they were like, let's get this contract going. They wrote it on a napkin and it was signed on a napkin. His whole career started from just a contract on a napkin. So that's honestly amazing. So now we're gonna dip our chicken into the egg and then we're gonna coat it with the breadcrumbs. So we have our thinly sliced chicken. We're gonna dip it into our egg mixture with the parsley and then we're gonna dip it into our breadcrumbs minced garlic and Parmesan cheese. So we're just gonna make sure we get this all coated up. So we're gonna get to frying our chicken. We're gonna add one third cup of olive oil into our pan. So just a light layer on the bottom. So we're gonna start laying our chicken out in the pan. It's heating up. So another fun fact about Messi is he actually met his future wife when they were five years old, only five years old. And it's crazy because one of his sons actually signed at the Noel's Old Boys Soccer Club when he was only three days old. They were like, this is Messi's son. He's gonna be the next Messi. We're gonna sign him and he was only three days old. Our chicken is done. We're gonna place it on our baking pan and then start assembling our toppings. So we have three toppings we're gonna add on the chicken. We have some mozzarella cheese, tomato sauce, and ham. But the first thing we do is start with the tomato sauce. We're just gonna put some tomato sauce on top of here, lightly coat the top. We're just gonna add one slice of ham on each piece of chicken. Then we cover the ham with mozzarella cheese. There we go. And then we're gonna season the top with Italian seasoning. This is smelling so good. I've never had something like this in my life. I've never had chicken parmesan. This is my first ever chicken, tomato sauce, ham type of deal. So I'm excited to try this. We're gonna broil this in the oven so it all gets melted up. Another fun fact about Messi is he actually became the all-time leading scorer in Barcelona for all club competitions when he was only 24 years old. In the 2008 Olympics, Messi helped Argentina win the gold medal and now he won the World Cup for Argentina in 2022. This just proves he's the goat of soccer and also he has the most liked Instagram photo of all time. The egg used to be the most liked and now Messi is the most liked photo. So that just shows how much power this guy has and how many people admire him around the world. The chicken is done. We're gonna take it out right now. It is looking a little crisp there, that's for sure. Okay, well let's plate it and start trying it. This is Messi's favorite dish, the Milanesa Napolitana. Let's try it and see if it's good. That is really good. Mm. It's very chewy. The cheese is a little hard to chew with the ham, but overall, it's very flavorful because you have the tomato sauce, you have the cheese, the ham, and the chicken, and it's very seasoned. The seasoning was really good, like the breadcrumbs and Italian seasoning. I would rate this, I think a seven out of 10. It's like a good go-to dish. It's like pretty healthy too. Protein, 
And you know, if you have a soccer game or some like athletic event, you're going to the gym, after this would be a good meal to just like fill you up. Like this will actually just really like fill you up, get you going, give you a lot of energy, and it's healthy. So I understand why Messi likes this dish, and I think this is why he won the World Cup, honestly. This dish, this dish did it. I'm gonna be eating this. I'm gonna be eating this now and you know, become the next Messi. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications and comment below what celebrity recipe we should try next time. I'll see you guys later, bye.